Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's all about the Wing Chun lead leg kicks. If you're familiar with our second form, the Chum Q form, you'll notice that the kicks are delivered with the lead leg. Now there's a big difference between you kicking from the rear leg or the lead leg. There's pros and cons for both scenarios, for both situations. Today's video will tackle the lead leg kicks. Now why is this a good option for you to use if ever you're in a situation where you need to defend yourself? You see, if I'm standing in front of someone, right, and that person jumps into me, steps in really fast to attack me, I may not have time or the distance to kick with the rear leg, even though I can generate more power with that leg. So that's when you're better off using the lead leg. It's a lot quicker, it's a lot easier for you to intercept, and if you use your hip correctly, you can still generate a lot of power. Things that you want to keep in mind is, number one, your balance check your flexibility. So make sure anytime you wanna work on the techniques that I'll demonstrate today in this video, just warm up, stretch, get everything nice and loose for you to execute these kicks and give it your best shot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here you will find Wing Chun related content like how-to tutorials, demos, and even my Wing Chun by Design podcast. So you may wanna consider subscribing, that way you can keep up to date with my weekly videos. All right guys, so, for today, key points. Number one, raise your knee nice and high before you kick. Number two, thrust the heel when kicking. Number three, keep your hands up so that way you protect your face and this way you can easily follow up with your hand techniques. All right guys, let us not waste time. Let's get started. Okay guys, so for technique number one, I'll be demonstrating the front kick chase combination. So on this one, you want to stand pretty much square with your opponent. So that way, when you kick, you keep your hands up, guarding your face. You want to thrust that heel and push the hips forward and retract the leg before you land. So that way, you can easily follow up with the chain punches. I will demonstrate this technique both on the right side and the left side. I'll do it slowly at first, then I'll speed it up so that way you can see real speed when executing this technique. Perfect. Technique number two, this time I'm doing a side kick with the lead leg and then I'm following up with the double punches, the arrow and thrusting punch. Just because I, once I kick, I land already kind of from a sideways position and then I need to find my center and that's how I can use my hands effectively and still protecting myself when following up after I've done the lead leg side kick. Third technique, this time I will start off with the front kick, lead leg, but then I'm gonna follow up with the rear leg kick. See, for techniques one and two, I chose to follow up with my hands. Sometimes you're better off following up with the leg, depending on how the person you're dealing with is standing. Because if you have that leg right there in front of you, you're better off targeting that, because as you all know, Wing Chun center line theory, it's all about attacking the closest point from your opponent to you. So many times it's wise for you to follow up with another kick. So next I'll demonstrate that both sides.
Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, check out my online university. It's umauniversity.com.au. There you'll find a free introductory applied Wing Chun course that you can check out and learn from those videos. So guys, having said that, I'll see you in the next one.